Hello and welcome back to another Scraps and Ink video. Today I'm going to show you one clean and simple technique making two different cards. One is going to be a Thanksgiving card and the other one is going to be a birthday card. And these are just going to be card panels. I'm not actually going to assemble the entire card on camera because the video would have was already really long. So here's the first card that I made off camera and I'm going to be using one stamp set or one pre-colored image from this stamp set and it's going to be the little overstuffed bear. I love this technique because it's really easy to mass produce cards and it's a great way to use up scrap paper um, and to use up some of that specialty paper. I'm using Cricut glitter paper and uh, I really like it because it doesn't flake off and it doesn't have an odor. I never noticed an odor on it, but I think it's great. And I use it on pretty much every project that I can think of. So I start by sectioning off a piece of the bottom paper and, excuse me, a piece of the bottom card panel. And then I adhere my patterned paper on top of it. And for this card, I wanted three little balloons up at the top I ended up messing up the stamping, but I went with it anyway. I figured it out and I kind of like how it turned out ultimately. So I stamp the balloons using Versamark Onyx Black Ink and I colored it in using my alcohol markers. You can use any coloring medium. You can use colored pencil. I used um, watercolor for my little image, so I could have gone back in and used watercolor for the balloons, but I didn't have that much time. You can use anything. Um, I even debated using crayons because I thought that would be really fun texture, but I thought that would kind of just ruin what I had going on. So once I was done with my alcohol markers, I came back in with my Sakura Jelly Roll pen and I added some highlights here and there. Also, because I'm not creating an actual card, I'm just creating the card panels, I will not be showing, I, I won't be decorating any cards on the inside, if that makes sense. So you'll just see me decorate the outside. And that's it for this card. So next, I pull out my Doodlebug pattern papers because I wanted to make a Thanksgiving card. I thought that would be really cute, and I wanted to show off a way that you can use this technique with cut aparts, and you didn't have to color your own image if you don't have stamp sets. So in the last cut that you saw, um, I had made three card panels when filming this video, but I ended up not liking the way the first card turned out. I used stickers and it just looked kind of weird. So I decided to scrap it and you'll see it come up again. What happened with this fall themed card is I thought I would be clever and stamp out a really fun background using Gina K inks and it did not work out that way. I hated the way it looked. It looked too busy. There was no rhyme or reason. There wasn't really any organization and there wasn't any space for a sentiment. So I cut it apart and ended up gluing the pattern paper back onto a brand new panel. And then I adhered my little Thanksgiving turkey cut apart. And then I used these clearly besotted sentiment stamps to stamp out Happy Thanksgiving. And then I went back to that Simon Says stamp, stamp set. I love this stamp set. It's so pretty. I don't use it enough, definitely. I used the tiny little hearts to stamp to stamp out some coordinating colored hearts above the sentiment to give it a little bit more interest. And that's pretty much all there is to this. This technique is really easy to mass produce and you can make them for pretty much any occasion, Christmas, birthday, congratulations, new baby, what have you. So thank you so much for joining me during this crafting video. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for my next video. Also, if you're on Instagram, 
Don't forget to follow me. I'm at Scraps and Ink. And also don't forget to hit subscribe to my videos so you never miss a crafty update. Bye!